working with uh, our post probably like eight, nine years ago, seven, eight years ago, around that time. So before, before that, um, the business case, like the typical on a day-to-day, -day, uh, like uh, the insurance needs, like in the policy documents that we have to send out to our policy holders, these could be uh, declaration pages and these could be uh, notices or invoices, et cetera, that we have to uh, deliver to policy holders. Everything used to be in the paper format. And, um, and you know, like, there's there are like you no know, various you know challenges with regards to um, you know getting these out right sometimes based on the line of business um, like if you are a commercial uh, you know business owner's policy versus a CPP policy this document uh, the policy doc uh, if your transaction is a renewal transaction or a new business transaction this is going to contain like you know probably about like you know 200 pages. Uh, you know, like for, for other lines, it could be like, you know, 15 to 20 pages, but sometimes it could be like you know, 200 pages. If you are not printing duplex on the back and back, this is going to kind of, you know, add up to like, you know, huge, you know, printing costs, handling costs, and then the mailing costs all accumulated together. And when you are talking about, you know, 300,000, you know, policies, it, you know, on an annual basis, now you are handling new business changes, renewals cancellations reinstatement transactions this is going to be huge so that that was a use case and we approached uh, you guys and then the, we started piloted the our mail and then after that we we rolled it out so the cost component is huge it's, it's number one that's you know it's it cut down uh, you know drastically you know from like you know one policy you know like cutting like like i don't like 20, $25, you know, uh, per declaration to less than a dollar per transactions, you know, with the switch. So it's a huge, you know, cost saving, you know, aspect. Uh, when, it, uh, when you account for the time, some of these documents are time sensitive. You know, if you have a notice that has to go out to a policy holder, uh, it has to go out, you know, as soon as possible. So things like that. So, you know, considering the fact that paper going out, you know, uh, regular channel, Instead, you know, using the electronic, you know, mail feature, it's it's the, the time, you know, it's it's a huge save. Basically, that's another big big advantage. Yeah. Kind of a reg from the regulation standpoint is um, we have to make sure policyholder has received uh, the document in time, and how are we going to make sure the paper means is not going to provide a clear, you know, audit and trackability feature. And that's basically our main, you know, you know, as his big way. Like now, I can look at when a particular document was, you know, mailed out, and what time it landed in recipient's inbox, and what time he read, what time he opened. You know, all that information I do have that, and I can use it, you know, if I want to in future. Right? So once we, once the email is sent out uh, to our policy holders, there are various, you know, automation components that we have devised on top and some workflows that we have put together. So once we make sure that a particular uh, recipient uh, received a copy, there is uh, a log on a day-to-day -day basis. We do monitor um, a transaction response from our post that indicates all the tracking and audit information that we receive in the form of an XML on a daily basis that is leveraged to use and to devise the next sequence of automation on top of it.